How many of you have tried out Facebook's new privacy settings for your Facebook profile? If you'll notice, Facebook has made a very minor modification to the newsfeed section. You now have the ability to update your status, add photos, and ask a question. At the bottom, you have the ability to specify people that are with you, a location, and also whether this is a public update, if it's an update to your friends, or you can customize it even further. Gone is the ability to add in a link. Over on your Facebook page, you'll notice that this feature does not carry over. You have the same status update, the ability to post a photo, the ability to post links, etc. I expect this will carry over to Facebook pages at some point. So let's walk you through doing this. Say we want to copy this website link and we want to post it on our Facebook profile. In the status box, you'll enter what's on your mind. If you want to, you can also tag pages and people by doing at and then start typing that person's name. This will make it a hyperlink. So now that we've got our content in here, we want to include a link. That's really simple. All you need to do is paste your website link into the status update. And if you'll notice, Facebook will automatically populate the link. So you can go back and delete the link you included in your status update. Once you're done with this, you can tag people. So in this case, I'm going to tag my friend Chris. To remove him, I click the X. You can also use Facebook's new privacy settings to tag where you are at. I find this feature very neat because as I've typed Washington, it's brought up a list of Facebook pages and it's also shown me a map. So we're going to select Washington. And once we've select this, you'll notice in your status update, it adds to the end, I'm at Washington Monument National Monument. Last, you select whether it's a public update, if it's for friends, or if you want to customize this further. So basically, you don't have to have the ability to put people into lists. You can do all of this on the fly. Once you've selected who you want this update to go to, you're going to click Post. Once your update is posted, you now have Facebook as a hyperlink, Washington Monument National Monument as a hyperlink, and your other hyperlink that you posted. If you click on Washington Monument National Monument, I now can go and click like on that Facebook page. This is very beneficial for people that want to improve how their content is being marketed. It also will help you increase the number of likes. If you accidentally posted this as public content, you can now go in and edit who sees this content after you've posted it by clicking the drop down menu on the right. There you have it. If you have any questions, you can reach me at the following address.